He didn't speak specifically about the vote in Australia, but he did say the rights of citizenship should be protected for all people. The most recent ban includes North Korea, an atheist state, and it also includes Venezuela, a Catholic state. The ban on these two countries is not about religion. The council spent the night listening to public commentary about the ratio. Many of us may take for granted the ability to hop on a bike and go, but for some, it can actually be quite painful. Also, as you can see, these two holes right here make this device adjustable. So if you grow or if you go through surgery. Hey everyone, this is John Linford and he's a freshman here at BYU. So John, you've been doing magic for about a year. And mm -hmm. in that year, it's transitioned from a hobby into a profession. Mm -hmm. You've openly acknowledged that you struggle with anxiety and depression and mm -hmm. you've made this big post. What was your intention when you posted the picture? Today is the busiest day at the Salt Lake International Airport. 11 News reporter Madison Heap is at the airport to show us just how busy it gets. Hey guys, I'm in the Salt Lake City International Airport and as you can see behind me, there are a lot of people here. I talked to Nancy Vollmer and she said these next two days are the busiest this airport sees during the year. We're at upwards of 27,000 passengers. It's fall break. The Utah Education Association hosts meetings once a year, which means kids are out of school. I'm going to Oregon. And the airport is packed. It's definitely busy. There are a long line to check in and a long line to drop off our baggage. The spokesperson for the airport says they prepare for these days far in advance. We have been staffing up, making sure that we have um, extra employees on staff, whether it's in the parking lots to direct people to make sure that they're getting parking or in the secure areas. Volmer says it's important for travelers to get to the airport two hours before their flight to allow time to get through the long lines. <laughs> You can find updates on the airport's website and on the TSA website. Reporting from Salt Lake City International Airport, Madison Heap, 11 News. The ballroom dancer cha cha her way onto the popular reality television show, So You Think You Can Dance. But when you're performing, you just you feel like you're in another world. Chanel Kostich has been competing with BYU's ballroom dance company for four years. But this year, she tried a different kind of competition. Seasons. Kostich sent an audition tape to Fox producers of the hit TV show, So You Think You Can Dance. You're just showing like you and like what you have to offer. She got a call back within 24 hours. I was like ecstatic. I was not expecting it at all. And once he invited me to New York, I was like, okay, I'm doing this. Kostich says there were 1,400 callbacks. She was one of just 50 dancers who made it past the judges. First thing that Nigel said to me when I walked on the floor was, nice walk. <laughs> I was just like in complete shock and I like thought he had said no for a second, but then he like gave me the plane ticket. One, two, three, better. But Kostich never used that ticket. BYU's ballroom dancing tour fell on the same dates as filming for the show. I couldn't do both. I had to choose between the two, and I had already committed to the tour. So she gave up her spot on So You Think You Can Dance to perform with BYU in Argentina and Chile. It was hard to like turn it down. At the same time, I feel like I can grow even more this next year, and I can be more prepared to do the show again. Yes, re-audition for the show next season. She's even postponing her graduation to continue her training. Kostich's audition in front of the judges will air in the next couple of weeks. Matt, that's, that's incredible. You really don't hear a lot about BYU athletes going into something as big as that. That's really awesome. I know. It was, it was an amazing story to do. And it was interesting to go and film them yesterday because I saw how breathless they got after just one dance. And it kind of just made me appreciate dancers as athletes. Truly. Because I never experienced ballroom like that, but mm -hmm. it is a tiring, tiring sport. This is true. I got tired just watching her. <laughs> Thank you, Matt.